All right, what's up, guys? Roy Diddy Walk here, and um, I'm going to be playing my first match of the World Cup today. You know, I think USA is out of it, but I figured I'd play for a match. I haven't really done much with them so far, so this should be fun. I'm playing against Senior Morty. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm recording this through PowerPoint. Don't tell anyone, but the built-in recorder is pretty good. So, um, I, this is going to be me going try hard. It's going to be showing you guys my uh, my setup when I'm really playing. So first, I build my teams in Pokemon Showdown Team Builder, um, and I actually this is the team we'll be using. I'll go over it later. I just swapped out the Jellicent for uh, Blissey. Oops, not there. Uh, Blissey. Uh, it, this is, it's telling me the legality for things in Gen 8, so ignore that. Um, lefties. And so the reason I'm doing this is because I can plug it into this, and it will pull up all of my teams pre-built. So I'll, I'm running. Soft-boiled, flamethrower... Let me go ahead and actually open Cookie MMO. Okay, soft build flamethrower, stealth rock, and toxic. So, um, I'm really debating between going um, stealth rock because I have double rocks between Blissey and Tar. I don't know if that's necessary. I kind of want seismic toss here, so I beat Volcarona, or alternatively, I kind of want ice punch on Shuka Tyranitar. Uh, these EVs let me live, uh, it, it's, it was a weird calc, it was when rain was more prevalent, it lets me survive, um, a sand, so it lets me survive Dugtrio's Earthquake after surviving a Spex Kingdra Surf, so that's what this exactly does, that's why it has those IVs, I don't know if that exact situation will come up, but it's something. Um, all of these sets, I spent a lot of time building, <laughs> just too much time. Um, I'll try to, I'll go over them during the match. Okay, so Vermilion, and I need to be in channel uh, four. Okay. So, Roid PC. Okay, this is the team I'm bringing right here. Cheetor, this, I need to check my Blissey EVs. Okay. It looks like, like these are these are all calculated. I'll cover it in a sec. So the um, the 12 HP is to hit my leftovers. The 252 defense is because Blissey kind of needs that to not fall over to uh, random attacks. 82 special attack gives me just enough to always KO um, choice band scissor with max HP with my flamethrower. 92 speed means I am just faster than a Skarmory or just faster than a Scizor that is one speed faster than Skarmory. And that is the main thing I'm looking for. Um, Spideff is 72 because that is what I have left over. Okay, cool. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to go ahead and export it. Import, export, save. Should be there. So then I'll go over to this. I will um, clear custom sets. Then I will import my custom sets. So now what I can do is I can say show only imported sets. So now instead of having to look through all the Pokemon, I can just go straight to uh, my Excadrill set, my Blissey set, my Mandibuzz set. If you look, the EVs are all over the place. I'll <laughs> explain them as we go. Uh, my Rotom set and my Tyranitar set. Okay. Then, we'll close the team builder. Please tell me this is recording. Okay. And we will go and find our guy. Do I want to run Shoe Guitar? Do I want to run Shoe Guitar? Uh, yeah, why not? All right. Kick okay, it. Okay. Let me know when you are... Good to go. I recorded early just because a I wanted to catch everything. And B I wanted to cover the uh, the process I go through to have a like a nice setup to have everything here. So my calculator has my team built in. Um, honestly, I should set them level fifty because level fifty matters. If you look at this Tyranitar set versus let's say uh, Gengar, oops, Gengar. Let's say Sub Attacker is a pretty standard set, except no one really runs Life Orb. They're on lefties. So you look, you'll notice that my Tyranitar always lives Focus Blast. However, um, the issue is that 
if you go to level 50, it does slightly more, just with rounding and whatnot. So, like, it's still only a 12% chance, so I still keep Gengar in against, uh, or I still keep Trinitar in against Gengar. I'm just not as happy about it, but I don't see it worth throwing a Fighting Resist Barry just for that. Okay. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Goodbye. Okay. Um, so the brief overview of this team, we'll cover it now, is um, it was the, the Rain Trap Trinitar. This is um, bulky sub-SD Quake Slide Excadrill. So it has enough HP that it can substitute on Chansey and Blissey's seismic tosses. It has just enough speed to outspeed, I want to say, uh, Starmie. I think this is outspeed Starmie if Sand is up. So the point of Drill on this team is I'm using it in place of uh, sub-SD Garchomp just because and Garchomp also has enough HP that it can hit the HP point where it has 51 HP substitutes, which means they aren't broken, which turns... um, Because normally Excadrill doesn't really want to... Well, it can stay in on Chansey, but it just takes a bit of damage if it sets up. Whereas in this case, I can set up for free and have a substitute after I kill it, which means I don't get revenge killed by Conkledor, which is huge. The reason I'm using Drill over the more tanky and not weak to... Um, focus or not weak to mock punch x or wow garchomp is that excadrill allows my team to have that speed boost this is about my only fast pokemon i'm running and it's not even that fast it's jolly because it does need the speed so i can invest minimally in this um to still outspeed things in the sand it's still faster than defensive pokemon outside of the sand but substitute really helps um i've been loving mandibuzz a whole lot mandibuzz is amazing on sand because it doesn't take sand damage i'm running impish with um my main special defense investment here, it has just enough speed so that you outspeed uh, min speed Rotom. Now, I don't assume Rotom will be min speed, but this will help let me scout what speed Rotom is running. If it is min speed Rotom, which a lot of them are, then I'll know it's probably physically defensive. So, or looking at the team physically or specially defensive, so I'll know how to play around that. And also, if it is min speed, that means I can roost before it volt switches, so Mandibuzz takes like five damage. Also, Mandibuzz never dies, even to like, specs going first volt switch um this thing is surprisingly tanky it always lives a plus two dragon claw from garchomp it always lives i think two thunder like if it switches in on gengar's thunderbolt it survives the second thunderbolt as it roosts or foul plays uh that's one of the main things it was built for hello humongous noodle welcome to my friend group um okay this is my rotom oh uh moves 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 okay this is a uh, Roost, Taunt, Defog, Foul Play. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I think we're still waiting to hear back from him. Um, let's cover Tyranitar. Okay, so this is a Adamant Tyranitar running basically no speed. Well, literally no speed. Also, of every Pokemon I'm using on this team is uh, perfect IVs. Um, not that it's it's kind of necessary. Like the reason I run these weird sets is because like these things only work with perfect IVs. Like Excadrill, if you're not running the 31 HP, I don't know if you can even reach this. Well, you might have to go like full investment here, which means if you still out speed Skarmie, you don't get the defense. If you still out speed uh, Starmie, you don't get the defense. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's decent to have. Okay, so Tyranitar, Stone Edge, Pursuit, Crunch, Stealth Rock. The Shukaberry means that it can finish off a low health. It means it can finish off a low health uh, Garchomp, which could be surprised by it. It means I can stay in on Garchomp, and if they rocks, I can take a chunk out of them with Crunch. I really thought about putting Ice Punch over Stealth Rock and just having Blissey be my rocker, but I don't know. It feels like <sighs> I'm, still, I'm still not positive either way, but I want T-Tar to have rocks. I want it to have an option against tanky Pokemon where I think they're going to switch. So that's the reason I have that. Uh, I mean, like, I could regret it, right? This could be Earthquake or Rocks or Ice Punch. But yeah, um, I explained the EVs. It's uh, max damage on an Adamant set while also surviving the um, the one hit into the other hit. <laughs> uh, surviving 
Earthquake into Surf. Yes, two super effective hits from powerful. That's assuming um, Doug Trio is Focus Sash, of course. Earthquake, uh, Life Orb, Doug Trio will kill it. I, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that'll come up, but the overall tankiness is just good on Titar in general. Okay, so I really like this Rotom as well. It's modest, physically defensive, with just enough speed to outspeed. Uh, this is for max speed scissor. Max speed to adamant scissor, I believe. Um, like I say, I believe not because like I took these sets from someone, but just because I made this team a couple weeks ago. Like this is all designed by me. Um, so yes, this set right here is <laughs> one I really like. It's Volt Switch Hydro Pump Pain Split Trick. So well, Volt Switch Hydro Pump is on every Rotom wash. Trick is something I really love with Choice Specs because Rotom, especially if you run it defensive, doesn't have enough damage to really pose a threat to something like a Mandibuzz or a Jellicent. So because my team doesn't have a great way to deal with them, I need Rotom to be my answer to this Pokemon, including Scarberry. But in order for Rotom to do that, I need it to have um, the ability to have a little extra oomph. So choice specs in a modest nature give me that, but I don't want Rotom to be um, an all-out attacker. I need it to have other options as well. So I needed to build Rotom bulky while giving it offense, so choice specs. Trick allows um, Gastrodon, who normally always walls Rotom, in order to fall victim to it. So something you could do is you could run Toxic over Trick to just Toxic Gastrodon as it switches in, which is a good play. Um, I felt that I needed the offense, though, and this also lets me handle things like Blissey or potentially... No one's really switching a Mandy in. It's usually just to uh, help cripple a Gastrodon, which is fairly decent because then Reuniclus... Well, Reuniclus can basically always sit up on Gastrodon, but, you know, it helps. Archon. Nah. All right, yeah, I've got this. My paranoia checking in. Okay, cool, still recording. Okay. What? Oh, that's because <laughs> I have. So if you click on this person's name, it'll say, do you want to whisper, whisper? So you have to actually click on the name and say whisper Archon. Um, nah, got it. <sighs> I hope I don't get absolutely embarrassed on camera. That would be not fun. But, you know, like, no team is perfect. And although I've put a lot of practice into this team, well, a lot of team building theory, we'll say. I've only put a little bit of practice. It has a pretty high success rate in practice. Okay, that's Senior Morty saying go. Um, so, um, last two Pokemon. This one, of course, I didn't really make. Well, the helmet on it is not the standard set, but it's uh, just max defense, uh, standard move set. Cool. And let me go ahead and find my... Um, I'm just going to PP max or PP up my Reuniclus recover. Whew. All right. Let me find my Senior Morty. Okay, I guess I'm going to wait. Whew, here we go, boys. Let's get it. Okay, so let's see what he brought. Interesting. Okay, so Clam Pearl is something you really have to watch out for. This thing will mess you up. Um, I know that now. So Trick Room, Clam Pearl, um, Excadrill, is pretty good setting up here. If um, So Bronzong seems like a good lead for him because everyone leads Bronzong and Trick Room teams. Uh, would I rather have Jellicent here over Blissey? <laughs> uh, no. No, Blissey is probably one of my few hard answers to Clamperl. 
And so I don't want to get that trapped by Trap Inch. Tyranitar could be a strong lead, just because Shuka would let me survive a move from Trap Inch. Uh, but I don't want to deal with Gyro Ball from Bronzong. So, in order to preempt that, I'm going to probably lead my... I'll lead Mandibuzz. Yeah, I'll lead Mandibuzz into Bronzong and just taunt. Yep. Okay, cool. So that was the right play. Um, this thing can't really hurt my Mandibuzz, and nothing on his team really wants to deal with Taunt. I mean, Conkletter can, but Conkletter doesn't really beat this thing. So we'll go ahead and do that. If he's Mental Herb Bronzong, then like, way to go. <laughs> You're better than me. But he should be probably lefties, because that's the only thing this thing has. Oh my god, it is Mental Herb. Okay. <laughs> so, he got Trick Room up. Uh, that's cool. I am going to see what he does next. So he could explode. He could set up screens. I really think that I just want to taunt again. Yeah, so I was running to taunt there in case he switched to Reuniclus because um, I want Reuniclus to be taunted so it can't set up on me. Yeah, fine. I get rocks off my field, and he has burned a couple stealth rock or a couple trick room turns because he trick room turned one. Mandibus takes this, goes to half HP. Importantly, oh yeah, you can't defog if they do that. That is something that I forgot. Oh, Morty went a thousand percent. We'll see about that. Um, because that's his main trick room. down. Like, yeah, he's got rocks up and trick room, but. Trick room is five turns. Let me just make sure. So we have through turn five with trick up. Yeah. Cool. So clamp roll can either bur uh, boost or attack. And so let me go ahead and just pull up my custom blissey. Shell smash. 50. And what is it? Deep Sea Tooth. Um, I am miss like, Tooth is the one that gives it the damage, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm not really in any threat from this thing, though. I think I just go to Blissey. I'm going to taunt it so it can't set up like three times on me. Okay. That's super fine. <laughs> because, yeah, just this thing in here is not a problem at all. I could have roosted there or just switched to Blissey, but oh well. So he could attack again, but it's pretty clear. Okay, so it's pretty clear that he's going to surf again here. However, if I switch to Blissey, I can throw off a Toxic into Reuniclus, which doesn't help me. So I think I switch to Blissey and then go... Oh, no! That was quite the misclick. But it'll work, I guess. Uh, um, it's actually fine. I just lose a bit of HP there. So the reason I did that... <laughs> well, the reason I meant to switch to Blissey is I switched to Blissey... And then I will expect him to switch to Trap Inch or Reuniclus on Blissey. Oh, he has a Trap Inch. That doesn't matter. <sighs> okay, but like that's fine. If he switches in Trap Inch here, then like I'll actually just. If he switches in Trap Inch, I'm actually going to click Volt Switch again. Sweet. Cool. He goes to Gengar. Um, and then we try to see what this Gengar set is. Okay, so I am going to get up the sand first and foremost with Tyranitar. Yeah, I think I like that. Getting up sand first. This should also... So I think Gengar gets Trick Room is what's going to go on here, though. So I'm going to go to Blissey. Yeah.
So him switching to uh, Trap Inch on Flamethrower or Stealth Rocks makes sense for him. I could get up Stealth Rocks, but I don't think they're necessary with the Sand. So I'm going to go ahead and probably sack off my Mandibuzz right here because I don't think he stays in. I think he switches, and I want priority on that switch. So nope, he's going to stay in. Cool. I mean, I could have gone Rotom. Got me. You got me, my dude. So now I need to be slower than him. At which point, I'm going to go ahead and I could use Tyranitar. Or I could use Uniclus and just start boosting. So that lets me get a Calm Mind boost on my Uniclus, which means if I get a Calm Mind boost on our boy, Uniclus versus Gengar, who is not leftovers. So we'll say this for now. Yeah, even with the plus one, if it's that, it hurts quite a bit. So I guess I could have just killed it. Um, I could go Tyranitar and remove the threat, but then he can go Trap Inch and Trap Inch. Um, let's go Tyranitar, level 50. Oh, that's why my Blissey wasn't taking any damage from the earlier calc. Okay, I've got time. So Crunch kills this thing. Earthquake shouldn't kill me. Um, yeah, I go to Tyranitar. That forces him to go into Conqueror as his response. Because I just pursuit. Uh, he can go Clamperl, but if he does, I go Blissey. Or I go Blissey and then double into uh, Uniclus if he goes Clamperl. Okay, cool. And this is where Shukaberry Crunch should kill him. Because I should not die to this earthquake. There we go. That's the Shukatar. Let's hit him with the uh let's hit him with the winky face. Yeah. And so like I knew he'd go into uh trap inch there if I trapped Gengar, but I figured I could get rid of both of them. And now Blissey is pretty home free. He can set up Trick Room with Reuniclus, but so he can't go Reuniclus here. Well, I mean he can, but like yeah. He probably goes Clam Pearl. He's got a couple turns of uh, Trick Room left. No reason for me not to go Blissey. Oh, uh, can Titar still get up Stealth Rocks? Oh, shit. Or set up the sand. I mean, I don't need the sand. Wait, Titar's faster than everything on his team. Yeah. Um, so let's look at the damage here. Um, I could heal up Blissey, or I could just throw off a Toxic to try to catch that Conqueror in a Toxic. Let me just see. I'll see if he stays in. Okay, cool. Let's see if he's leftovers. Like, I think he'd be Burn Orb on a team like this. So that's the reason I did this. If I thought he was leftovers, I wouldn't have. Yeah. But that's what I figured this would be. So I have no problems going to Reuniclus here and clicking Psychic. Okay, so Tyranitar has just enough health that it lives. It can switch in. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go to that Reuniclus now. Or I could go to Rotom. So Rotom would give me the Volt Switch potential. Um, I'm going to go to Reuniclus first, because I think I can use Rotom to trick Reuniclus and basically finish that off. I could sack Excadrill here. I want to keep Tyranitar alive. Because um, Reuniclus 1v1's Clamperl. Oh, no, I'll just go Reuniclus here. That's fine. Um, might as well get the damage I can on Conqueror. I mean, cool. So 
Uh, I don't have time to calc. I, I don't know if he kills me with facade. I'm going to recover just in case. Yeah, I figured he'd go to Arena Close. So this is where I, I should have just doubled to Rotom there. That would have been a good, better play. But I didn't, and so here we are. This thing is probably the uh, Life Orb set. Oh, that's, um, that's not a great play, buddy. Oh, that kills me? No! But that's totally fine. Because now I can take a hefty crunch out of this thing. And Tyranitar, I'm just going to crunch it, actually. I'm not going to mess around with Pursuit right now. Uh -huh. I guess I didn't factor in rocks. Rocks into Signal Beam. Yeah, Sand plus Poison and Adamant Crunch should kill Conkledor if he switches in. So I think Reuniclus has to sit here and eat the Crunch. Um, Clamperl isn't going to live this. Excadrill is not super useful in this matchup. So I'm definitely down to use Excadrill as Sack Fodder as if it comes to that. My Reuniclus always, I think it's so, my Reuniclus always beats his Conkleder, and my Blissey always beats his Clamperl. So his Reuniclus is the only problem. I could have clicked Pursuit to get a bit of damage down, but I need this thing dead. So I didn't click Crunch because I don't think he has a good option. While he's thinking, right? I did click my move. Okay. Um, this gives me time to pull up. Re. Uh, not Reuniclus, Conkleder. I want to check, let's say, like a bulk upset. Let's assume 252 HP, which is pretty standard. Just HP and attack, which is what you run in a Trick Room set. If he's level 50, and I'm at adamant max, max attack. Okay, my Crunch does no type of damage to that thing. Uh, he Trick Roomed that turn, right? Cool. Okay, so um, now... I should be able to Reuniclus Offensive Trick Room versus Blissey Custom Set. Uh, my Flamethrower does just enough to kill him. So I will go to Blissey. Um, I should have just given him Tyranitar, honestly. Tyranitar has kind of no uses here. I'll try to soft build up. Max defense, Blissey, hold on. Yeah, um, I fucked the pooch just so hard right there. I, um, I don't, okay, wow, dude, I threw this away so hard. Um, Reuniclus still isn't a problem as long as I keep Excadrill alive. And so he's got Signal Beam to hit me, but my Psychic should still mess him up a bit. He's slower than me for sure if he's Trick Room, but that's fine. So what, he used Trick Room, then he used... Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! No. Okay, well, I lost. Um that <laughs> darn it. Okay, so let me explain how that game plays out if I look at the timer. So he used Trick Room was turn one. He used Signal Beam as turn two. I was going to switch to Tyranitar, let Tyranitar die right there as turn three. I was going to go to Um no, I don't do that. I just I just click Psychic right there with Reuniclus. Like, I take a bit of damage from his. Throwing away Blissey was really dumb. Yeah, what I should have done there is just... <laughs> yeah, I, I shouldn't switch Blissey into Signal Beam. I should know better than that. Oof. Well, GG. Um, it was close. The The Blissey fumble is where I basically threw the game away. So 
Um, I was in the situation with Tyranitar right there. I just needed to let him kill Tyranitar, at which point um, Blissey comes in and, well, at that point, literally anything comes in. So what is it? He had, so he used Trick Room right there. So turn one is Trick Room. Yeah, I keep Tyranitar, let Tyranitar die. Then if Blissey is in, my Blissey should, yeah. Um, no, so Trick Room runs Psyshock. Ah, Psyshock. Okay, 55. Um, if I don't take the signal beam, I'm going to be honest, guys, it's close. Oh, let me set it to 50. Like, I might regret not having more Spadef investment. Or no, this would be physical death. I think... So I had to end the match in a way where... Hmm. So my Reuniclus, if I go in there, yeah. So I let him kill Tarantar. I just switched my Reuniclus and I click Psychic. Psychic kills any of his Pokemon. So whatever he put, he can hit me. Let's see what his Signal Beam does to me. Um, Reuniclus, Offensive Trick Room. So let's go uh, Signal Beam versus my uh, Uniclus. Okay, yeah, yeah, his highest attack, he hit me for 20%. So I get to have an 80% HP Reuniclus versus, oh, oops, whoa, that, I was going to say, wait, that, that feels way too low. Hold up, yeah. Yeah, he hits me for 70%. That's realistic. Um, however, if his, trick, his Conqueror is made for a Trick Room... Which it probably is, yeah. Excadrill really didn't get to do much there. Um, we didn't get to show off that set. Um, oh well. So, man. Yeah, base 45, but assuming that he is uh, zero. Nope, oh, come on. Come on. 50. So assuming he's zero and that, yeah, he's slower than me. Because he should be zero with a negative nature. And my Reuniclus is. Not min min speed. What is my arena class IVs? 12. So if we go to, I think, is it Brave? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Because his mock punch doesn't do anything to me. And I have. Oh, I didn't actually change this. Psychic. Okay, so he has to go to, he has to switch to Clam Pearl. Right. Yeah, so Psychic, he was at like 60%. Um, Clam Pearl is the factor that I'm not positive about. Let me find the stats. So level 50 Clam Pearl is slower than me and kills me because it'll also be min speed. Um, I'm thinking about running min speed Reuniclus. So, turn one is Psyshock, turn two, or no, turn, turn, turn one is Trick Room, of course. Turn two is Signal Beam. Turn three is Signal Beam into me, where I then kill him. Which means turn four for him. Yeah, this is where, yeah, I just don't sack Blissey. So, if I didn't sack Blissey in that really weird way, and I just let Tyranitar die, um, it goes Trick Room, Signal Beam, Signal Beam. At which point, uh, my T-Tar is there. So Trick Room, Signal, Signal. Then my T-Tar dies. So I bring in my Reuniclus. I click Psychic. Or, sorry, it's Trick Room, Signal Beam, T-Tar dies. I bring in my Reuniclus on turn three of Trick Room. I click Psychic to kill him after he takes off 80% of my HP with Signal Beam. Cool. So um, now I have my Reuniclus in. He brings in, of course, his... Uh, I'm blinking on the name. He brings, bring, he brings in his Clamperl, right? Always bring in Clamperl there. Cool. So he's got Clamperl. What I do then is I uh, switch to Blissey on Clamperl, and then I just click Recover, and I win. Um, because at that point, I have a... Uh, well, at that point, my 
I guess hmm. so. Do, oh wait, I can't. I shouldn't say I win. So at that point, I could click toxic, but that invites him to bring back in his conqueror. So we'd go conqueror set versus my blissey. Oops. So he's probably this, right? So, um, I can hit him for 20%, but he could then heal back up basically to full off of that. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, so this is going to be kind of long, just a full recap summary. Um, yeah, dude, poor Excadrill. Just never really got a chance to do anything behind his little subs. Um, if this had been Garchomp, <laughs> uh, I could have won, um, but that's fine. Like, I still think Drill has his own uses. So where was the, uh, where was the, big, the big play that really hurt me? Okay, so if we go back to this, if we rewind, if we rewind to the situation where I have Blissey, I have um, yes, let's see here, Titar dies. I have I would switch Blissey in against Clamperl. Of course, if he goes Conqueror, I just click Psychic and win. But like we're gonna assume he makes the correct play, which is bringing in what I'm assuming is Min Speed Clamperl. So he brings in Min Speed Clamperl, and I switch out to Blissey. At which point, um, oh, at which point I click, I click Flamethrower. I click Flamethrower because I win every time if I click Flamethrower there. Either he stays in and attacks me, at which point, because turn one is Trick Room, turn two is Signal, turn three is Signal where he dies, turn four is Surf as I go to Blissey, turn five is Surf to kill Blissey, which means Trick Room ends, Excadrill comes in, and I click Substitute, I believe. Yeah, I just click Substitute. Yeah, and then I, uh, if he attacks me, what do I do if he stays in? Man, so at that point, Excadrill can probably stall out Conkleder. Um... Okay, yeah, I'm trying to. I'm just trying to. Okay, so I have a. I still have a Rocky Helmet hit that I can give him on Reuniclus. I would probably Earthquake. Yeah, so what I do is I would Earthquake and just kill Clamperl, because Earthquake should kill Clamperl. Let's, let's check, of course. Always good to, to make sure in our theory crafting to see if we could have won. Uh, like, this is assuming this isn't the timer, right? Uh, with the plays that I made, I lost. Uh, the, the Blissey thing was really weird. Um, Psyshock just slipped my mind. But yeah, that, that was a bad play. So I, I did lose the game. I'm not saying like, oh, I would have won a feather timer. I lost that game. Um, if though, I don't do that one like brain slip. I, <laughs> I don't know in what world I thought that was the play. Um, and I switch in my uh, drill. I seem to make sure if drill doesn't kill Clamperl, then we could have problems. 85 defense, but it's probably not invested. So 50. Okay, well, if I'm level 50. Um, hmm. Depends. Depends, depends. And then versus Blissey. I really need to set my sets to 50. <laughs> oh, that would make this, that would save me some extra clicking there. And the time I thought this thing did 2%, but still like. I'm gonna go watch the video. Did you really only do that little to me with Surf? Maybe, I think it was switching into like rocks and everything made it look like more. So in that case, Blissey actually probably lives. So I guess I need to replay this scenario with Blissey alive. Um, with Blissey alive, 
I click I click flamethrower the first turn because that's going to be the last turn of trick room because it's uh yeah if he shell smashes my flame okay so the reason I'm I'm looking through this like here is um so we go trick room signal signal and he dies uh surf into the blissey switch at which point blissey is in and i click flamethrower flamethrower if he stays in then trick room wears off some faster than him and i just soft build the next turn if he switches to conqueror flamethrower will kill conqueror well two flamethrowers will kill conqueror and i should remain out of his range uh well actually that's not that's not necessary because if he goes to Conqueror, I probably just switch to Reuniclus. And then let him die. Because I'm assuming he's the Trick Room set, which means Reuniclus is actually faster than his Conqueror. Which is something I haven't been factoring in. Wait, when Trick Room ends, my Reuniclus can just boost up and beat him. So, yeah, even if my Reuniclus is at 30%, assuming his Pokemon are built for Trick Room, which I'm guessing they are, that's, that's what I would have played it. Um, I kind of want to ask him. If it was min speed, conk, and the other guy, so that's the way I would have played it. You know, I still might not have lost. So even if right, everything's the way it was. Let's say that I'm in that situation. There, he has in. He's against mine. I kill him. He kills me. At which point, I only have, Excadrill. And. Uh, Rotom. Or, sorry, no, Rotom's dead too. Rotom has joined the dead crew. I have Excadrill and Reuniclus. I can switch to Drill. Uh, but Drill will just die to a Surf. So, no, I needed Blissey. Because I need a way to stall an extra turn. Yeah. Like the the big like the reason it feels bad is because it looks like I'm a bonobo the first couple turns, but like like I knew what I was doing at all. Everything there had a reason. Like uh, taunting, uh, like the reason I taunted Clam Pearl, even though I'm well aware I'm under Trick Room, is because I just can't let it set up twice. If it sets up once, I switch to Blissey and I'm fine. If I set up as if it, uh, wow, whatever that move is called, if it shell smashes and then shell smashes as I switch to Blissey, I'm in pr I'm in trouble. So I just need to sell smash once at most. So I just uh, taunted it there. Um, I mean, I definitely could have played better. Keeping Blissey alive was a better play. Switching Blissey in earlier. Like, I was going to switch to Blissey earlier and then catch him with... Because obviously I'm going to double Blissey out immediately because I know he has Trap Inch, which traps. That's It's in the name. Um, but yeah. I mean, the shoe guitar was nice. He did his job. Way to go. Way to go, Tyranitar. Um, yeah. I don't know. Like, Rodan did his job. Titar did his job. You know, Reuniclus. Like, yeah, you know, I still think this is a good team. <sighs> Losing out the way I did really hurts. Not, like, the timer and then just the brain case of the disappearing blissey but oh well uh that's it for me i uh, hope that wasn't too painful to watch but um yeah that's some of my thoughts that go into team building and as i'm playing what happens my random moments when i freak out and forget if trick room lasts five turns or not um i don't even, i didn't even actually look at this okay yeah first five. Oh well like winnable but I threw it away, and that's Pokemon for you. It's not enough to just build a good team and make a couple good plays. You have to actually uh, stick the landing. Okay, uh, see you guys.